In Lagos State today, riding commercial motorcycle, popularly called Okada, and tricycle, also called Kekemarua or Napep, has become a visible but problematic part of the state's transportation system. Okada riders here, yeah. it's, 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 it's the same thing that you find in other states where you have Okada. Yeah. They are reckless, they drive uh, just about anyhow. Aside the fact that they serve as emergency sources of employment for former artisans and other people looking for quick cash, their operation has attracted other categories of Nigerians with little or no skill, aptitude and training who operate with no sense of caution, safety and security of their passengers and other road users. For the Okada aspect, is fast though, but it's also dangerous because some don't know how to ride the Okada. Some, for example, they will see truck or trailer coming. They, will, they don't have patience. That is the danger of it. It has injured so many people. It has killed so many people. Not only injured. So many people have gone through that Okada. So it's also dangerous. Resulting from their acts of indiscipline, statistics between 2010 and 2019 show Okada as one of the highest sources of road accidents in Lagos State. Using year 2016 as baseline, Okada-related accidents is put at an average of 457 cases, or 36% of road accidents per annum. Presently, it is worse as riders exhibit the highest level of indiscipline on the roads, leading to avoidable accidents, permanent disabilities, or deaths. When you have severe injuries, you have deaths, either deaths that occur, they are brought in dead, what we call BID. They arrive in the casualty, help, 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 say so this one's already dead. Or some of them, the injury is so severe that despite all attempts at giving them resuscitation, they still die. So, I mean, but on the average, most of them are brought in here with open injuries. Injuries where you have a wound and a fracture. From what we call type 1 to type 3 Bs are really bad. So it's a wide range. But... Whenever an Okada victim is here, there's a fracture. And some are brought in here with fractures and head injuries. Some are brought in here with spinal cord injuries, not just fractures of blown bones now. And that means that it's complete paralysis of either the legs, both legs, or both legs and both hands. Day first day when I was coming to Ikeja, as, as I was coming, a bike man and all these people that sit down on this thing. So the man came to come and hit the man. And then the person on the bike also fell down on the road. And the person that was sitting down on the road too fell down. One day, I was in Benson bus stop. I was in that day, when I was in the same place, I was in the same place. 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 The alarming statistics and the compelling need to enhance safety in the state led to the introduction of regulatory and safety measures through the Lagos State Road Traffic Law 2012. The law, which was reviewed in 2018, ruled out measures which include compulsory use of safety helmets, obedience of traffic signal lights and signages, restriction from carrying two passengers, passenger and luggage together, pregnant women, women with children tied to their backs, and children of school age. At least with what I've seen in Lagos State, even, even the normal traffic light, they don't obey. So most of them, I think the reason why most of them don't do that is, is either they... They are less informed or some of the kind of drugs they take. Some of them are drug addicts, so they just drive anyhow. They are now uh, considered a nuisance. Again, there is no thorough traffic. They didn't obey traffic law. They are just above the law. They apply one way, they apply wrong way. They just do anything. They are on their own. They are even a government on their own. I don't know. If the government can come back and uh, regulate this thing, it will pace everybody. It will minimize the accidents. 
make the road there, it will be more free. It will even, you know, lead to more implementation of a law and order. In addition, Okada were restricted from plying 475 roads, including highways and bridges. Unfortunately, majority of the riders flout these rules. Most of the time, they also resist attempts to enforce the rules as they constitute themselves into mobs or gangs to attack law enforcement agents. On the major road, like the expressway, you know, the major reason you see accidents happening most times is because of the occurrence. Number one, because there are bike crossers, people that are crossing the roads. You see that mostly, even when the vehicle stop for somebody to cross, the Okada with their full speed may accidentally hit the person down. Because, and I would advise, even if there is a problem with Okada, they should restrict them from the major road. They can walk on the minor road, like the streets, you understand? Because uh, you can see this way, a BRT is coming this way, and Okada is facing the same BRT lane. On what ground? You know, you're risking somebody's life, all in the name of 15 and 100 million. We can, they can always make this money while they're on the streets. There are also issues of security challenges associated with Okada operations. Apart from using it as a means of escape after robbery operations, snatching of bags from unsuspecting commuters and attacks on people, the influx of many riders without traceable addresses and valid means of identification in spite of the provision for riders' card is a huge security and safety risk for Lagos. They don't use it for uh, Okada again, they, they rob people. So you understand me, but that is the bad of it. But it's part of that, it's still okay. Because like in Onisha, they use it in Onisha. They use it in Onisha, up to tomorrow. This is not a hasting of our body, same thing. So, but yeah, it helps here for movement. So, but that's that the bad aspect of it, the robbery side of it. That Okada and Keke riders display brazen disregard for constituted authority and the fact that drug abuse level is very high amongst them should give every well meaning Lagosian serious concern. In fact, their menace has become an issue that any responsible government must not ignore. Apart from the sheer size of the industry, the level of indiscipline, security concerns, and particularly the number of fatalities being recorded on a daily basis demand appropriate and very serious enforcement. Okada riders are not really, you know, they are not really disciplined. In fact, they are rude. They are rude, most of them, many of them. Due to the way, you know, they go about their business, you know, in most cases you see them causing accidents. You understand, you know, a lot of people have, you know, been, you know, wounded, you know, as a result of that, of their careless driving, of their rough, you know, riding of the Okada. So, I mean, it's not really, it's not really good the way they go about that business, the Okada business. I think, I think uh, 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 the government should really, you know, you know, martial out laws, you understand, to regulate, you know, the business, the Okada business. Who regulates? Um... Uh, law against them. You know, what they call it, or no, they are to me, but compound more entirely. So, I want, I want to film it or to let it find you more. Near not all your quarter, not to shame. Then, uh, concerning time, come for any time to get on my family. Come on, you come, I shall, I shall, I shall, your room is not good for them to bind it in Lagos State because. Many lives are being lost over this exercise. So now we don't support losing of life in Lagos State. So therefore, they should ban them. I support them. It is a fact that disobeying traffic rules, riding commercial motorcycles on highways and major roads by a large, untrained, and unprofessional riders, amongst others, are dangerous and deadly acts. For Governor Babajide Sonwolu's administration, this is the stage where we are. In response, the government, in line with its themes agenda, is rising to the challenge with equal political will, determination and resilience as it confronts this problem headlong. Stop using bikes. That's the message. That's the only thing I can say. Stop it. It is 
dangerous as it is. It is life-threatening right now in this country. Uh, bikes are dangerous. It's as good as there's no sanction for what they do. A lot of, I've interacted with other patients here, and from my findings, a lot of them are here because of bike accidents. So it shows that these guys, if they keep going unchecked, people will keep losing their limbs, people will keep being exposed to perils that can take their lives. For how long are we going to keep taking that kind of, you know, so the best thing is stop using it though. It is important to understand that in taking this step to enforce the Road Traffic Law 2018, the administration is poised to strengthen security and enhance safety in the state. This measure will particularly ensure the safety of both riders and passengers and avoid needless deaths and disabilities. It will make Okada business safer and riders more responsible and law-abiding. <laughs>